Okay. Y'all already know what I'm doing. Discovery. Um, I'm going to change the plate right under here. It's not really a plate. It's really plastic. What I did was remove the um, air box off of the throttle so I can get a better angle under here. Let me show you what the new one looks like. This is the new one. This is what's under there. It's just three screws. Um, Allen screws. As y'all can see this might be different for you guys on you on your car but for this car it is three lights showing on the dashboard and that's when the three lights show on the dashboard it's abs i forgot the name of the lights but when them three lights show on the dashboard this is usually the problem right here um this part go directly under here exactly like this the noise you're hearing is actually the O2 sensor. I forgot I didn't put one in, so I hurry up and cut the car off until I put that in. So what you want to do before you put the new ones in, just make sure you match it up. Make sure it's the same size. You definitely want to put the new bolts in because, as you can see, this is all nasty and dusty. And this one already got anti-seize on it. And ready to go in. Okay. Y'all see I got it off, but you see the switch is actually stuck under there. And I did remove the um, steering wheel fluid. It was just a lot easier to work from this side. So this is the part that's stuck in there. That's probably why I got those codes because of this. So what I'm going to do is just grab a pair of these, grab it, pull it down. Okay, this is the old one. I honestly don't know how to tell if these things went bad or not. But since I already got this one and I had this for a while, I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Let me show you what it looks like. Of course, I'm going to dust it off before I put it in. And this is the old one right here. It don't look that bad to me besides this hanging. And this is the new one. Same way you took it out is the same way you put it back in. 